So this is an interesting one. Why do these three robots make us feel so differently? Back in 1970, a Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori noticed something weird. The more human a robot looked, the more we liked it. Until it got too human and then it started to get creepy. He called it the uncanny valley. And here's a crazy part. Monkeys feel it too. Princeton researchers showed that monkeys freak out when they see AI-generated pictures of monkeys that look kinda real but not quite. But for humans, it's a little deeper. We don't respond to what's alive. We respond to what feels alive. Think about it. Disney droids. Cute, cartoonish. They're clearly not human, but are very lovable. One X robots. A little bit more humanoid, but still clearly a robot and it is easy to distinguish them as tools. But then there's clone robots. Almost too good at being a human. Anatomically accurate synthetic muscles. It looks like it should be a live human, but it isn't. That cognitive mismatch is one of the hypothesized causes behind the uncanny valley. And ironically, the less human a robot tries to be, the easier it is for us to connect with it. So here's two ways for robotic companies to get out of that uncanny valley. One is to make robots that are clearly not human. Or two, make them so human that they cross the uncanny valley without anybody noticing.